Hi guys, Randy Groff here with Tack Veins. Uh, I want to give you an overview of our glue and primer pen kits. Um, this is a central part of our system to make sure that you're using both the primer pen and a glue. Uh, we have an adhesion guarantee where we actually guarantee adhesion as long as you're using these, these two components because we know where they've been, we know how long we've had them and everything else so that we can just help troubleshoot by making sure that you're using those first and foremost. Um, I want to give you a couple pointers with these. The first thing that you want to start with is the pen. Um, the liquid inside here is three times thinner than tap water, so it's very, very uh, thin viscosity wise. Um, so it's important to make sure that you don't have pressure build up in there. And so if you take your pen when it's absolutely brand new and put the tip side up and you can just detonate that if you will, it's just going to allow the door to open, it's going to allow any pressure to come out. If you have it in the downward position um, on your very first time you push that in and if it's pressurized, it's going to dump a lot of that liquid out and waste it. So you're not going to get obviously nearly as many veins out of it. Um, so um, that's going to help you conserve some of your primer. Um, this primer is going to last you probably six to eight dozen arrows as long as you're not dumping it. So that will definitely help. Um, after you like released any pressure, turn it upside down, just give it one, one press. And that's going to show you that if I use a post-it note, you can use a scrap piece of paper, anything like that. But for every single vein, I will check the, the moisture level on this primer pen. If you've got too much, it's going to make a bigger circle and that's, that actually can ruin the vein. So you only want to use as much as you need. So it's written right on here that more is not better. Um, so you want to take, take one single swipe, get good contact from edge to edge. Take one single swipe with a primer pen and you're done with that. That's all you need to do. But you do want to follow it immediately with glue. So within the first you know, five seconds, if you can, go ahead and follow it with glue. And uh, one tip for you know, applying glue is if you take your finger and you can actually help to guide this and start your glue bead about an eighth inch to quarter inch down from the edge, start it there, run one straight bead and end about a quarter inch from that edge as well. That glue is always gonna come out at the ends. Picture that like a trough almost, because it is curved. Um, it's always gonna come out the ends. So rather than have it on the edge and all go onto your clamp or your fletching device, you know, this is at least gonna use some of it and it'll minimize some of that waste. Um, our glue also is, is thicker than most other Siren Acrylite glues that we'll find in the archery industry. And so with tack veins being much stiffer than other veins, this actually allows a little bit of give when it's cured. Um, some of the other thinner glues, they do dry a little bit harder, and so they may not take a, an impact quite as well as others. Um, but I can assure you that if you're using this system as it's intended to, to be used, and you get a good, perfect seal on these veins, they literally can't come off, but it is gonna be able to strip nicer too, again, because that glue is not quite as thin and it's not gonna penetrate carbon or into your arrow quite as much. So, hope that helps everybody out. If you need any additional help, feel free to send a message in on our website. We'll be glad to help in any way we can.